Let's go to the next sign. It's Leo. It's our second fire sign. The first one was Aries. Leo is ruled by the sun. It is a fixed sign. It is fire. And of course, when we talk about Leo, we talk about the heart. We talk about kings and queens. The ego. If you're a Leo, congratulations. You got an ego pass in this lifetime, and you get to explore who you are. Unlike Aries, who can be completely oblivious to their ego, you, my friend, are very aware of it. And sometimes, if there is a sting to the ego or sting to the pride, it can wound a Leo person very deeply. Because on the surface, Leo can be all about bluster, it can be all about show, it can be all about drama, but in many ways, Leo's, the sign Leo is one of the most insecure signs in the zodiac. And this is why we have a lot of pomp and circumstance, show, costumery with the Leo personality. Leos tend to be performers, though, and they're at their best on the stage, on a playing field, at a concert hall, standing in front of an audience. This is really where they come alive, because what Leo's looking for is a sense of adoration. Leo rules children, and what do children love? Children love to be adored, recognized, respected. This is part of the Leo psyche. So even though they may be incredibly accomplished and they may seem larger than life, remember with a Leo, there's a little boy or a little girl in there hanging out that really just wants to be loved and accepted. It's a creative sign. And in romance, there is no better than Leo because they want to tap into their heart. They want to feel at a deep level whether it's a man or a woman, and get me you know, by and large, when we're with the Leo sun sign, we're gonna have either planets in Cancer or Virgo, and if the planets, like for, say for instance, Mercury or Venus, are connected to a Leo person, boy, you've got somebody who's not only romantic, but they can be very, very devoted and um, very emotional when it comes to bonding and, and blending together and, and merging with one life towards another. Um, Leo tends to rise to positions of stature, whether they're generals or CEOs or presidents. In fact, over the last uh, 40 years, we've had two Leo presidents, of course, our current president, Barack Obama, and then going back a little bit further in time, uh, the other Leo president we have is Bill Clinton. So Leo tends to want to have that position where, hey, guess what? They get to play the king. It's a natural fit for Leo. So if you know a Leo or you are a Leo, take pride, that's a pun by the way, take pride in the fact that you are a Leo in this lifetime. But remember, it's not always about you, it's not always about your ego, it's about being able to share with other people, to ultimately move towards unconditional love because from a spiritual perspective, that's the lesson Leo is here to learn. They're here to open their hearts, to be the beneficent leader, to, you know, to live within the realm of divine will. And when they're in that realm of divine will and really aligned, they're fantastic people to be with. They're warm, they're caring, they're generous, and they are here to be creative all along the way. So if you're a Leo or you know a Leo person, give them some love every now and then and let that higher spiritual vibration come through them.